Hi, I am Dr. M. Joe Kaushik, Androlgist, practicing at Carolyn John Hospital, Nagarkoil. So today I am going to ask about, uh, I am going to talk about a most asked question and it's a very interesting topic. It is about penile girth enhancement. Is it possible to enlarge your penile girth? Yes, it's possible. So there are different options are available. So one is the penuma implant, which is a surgical way. We place an implant inside the penis. Next option is the fillers. So the fillers are the most commonly used option because it has a good result and instant result and it lasts for around uh, one and a half to two years the results will be there and it does not affect the, uh, the chances of infection with the fillers are much lesser. And there are options with fat, uh, fat, uh, fat injections which can be given for your penis. The other options includes hyaluronic acid gel fillers. So today I'm going to talk about the hyaluronic acid gel fillers which are injected into the penis and what are the results we can achieve. So with the injection of hyaluronic acid gel fillers, usually we require around 8 ml to up to 20 ml. We can go for it based on the requirement. So if the more the injection we give, the more the girth enhancement will be there and the results will be instantaneous. And usually we can expect for around 3 to 4 centimeter of girth enhancement. So this is a good result which will be achieved with the hyaluronic acid gel fillers. So if you are planning for a girth enhancement, then what are the things you should know? So basically the girth enhancement with the fillers will last for around one and a half to two years. And there will be a mild reduction in the sensation which will be beneficial for certain patients because they feel that they are getting a longer duration of sexual activity after the injection. And the side effects, there are chances of minimal, minimal infection and chance of allergy is there, but it is a very rare situation if you are going for a good branded hyaluronic acid gel with lidocaine. So usually here we use Restylane product, which is an imported product from Sweden. Sweden. So we use it for uh, we are using it for a longer duration and we are getting a good result with that with least complication. So usually I do, how I do, I first do a test dose for the patient and then I go for the full dose because even in uh, the rarest scenario, any allergies, if it happens when we are giving the test dose, we try to avoid that injection. So what are the other side effects we can expect? There might be an uneven distribution of the gel but it is a very rare thing and usually it does not happen.